Right then, I've got a few minutes spare tonight and I just wanted to jump on and go through the Poisson distribution pack and use the calculators uh, alongside the live games at the moment in the EFL. Uh, now, I didn't want to do it before because I didn't want it to look like these were predictions that I was giving out in line with what I do with my draw systems um, because that's not what this is. This is a separate sort of project um, and I didn't want it to look like I was suggesting you put money on these bets because um, this is more of a research tool so I thought we'd have a look at League 2 um, and just while I'm on the video I was going to do live but you have to have streaming software and all sorts of downloaded it open source stuff for the Mac needed an audio um, plug-in got it all sorted it kept crashing so I'm just doing a normal video um, so I've, what I've done is I've put the, the fixtures below here that are currently in play so that it's easy to, to pick them up and drop them in um, you can obviously just type them in, but I'm lazy, so let's have a look. Swindon Crawley is the first one, and we've got that coming out at... So we're looking at a Swindon... Uh, well, yeah, a Swindon win just about, but, I mean, that, that looks pretty tight, doesn't it? So you could go either way with that one. Um, we've got 1-0 either way, or a 1-1 draw. So, I mean, it doesn't doesn't get much tighter than that, does it? Uh, now let's have a look at what the actual score is at the moment. At the moment it's 1-0 to Crawley. So at the moment we'd be well within what we're looking at and that's a good score on because assuming Crawley don't get a second goal, the home team could equalise and that's, it would still be in a Dutching, good Dutching position there. So that's a, that's coming up trump so far. Um, OK, so next we've got Tranmere and Stevenage. Tramere Stevenage, a very strong Tramere win is what we're looking at here. Um, yeah, Stevenage are way out, so we're looking at 1 0, 2 0, or 3 0 Stevenage. Um, Tramere, beg your pardon, and let's have a look what it is. I'm on the bet for six. It's 1 0 Tramere at the moment after 70 minutes, so that's going well, isn't it? This. I, I genuinely haven't looked at these beforehand. That's why I chose League 2, because I don't really know too much about League 2, to be honest. Um, so, Northampton versus. Barrow, I know I've got this down as an under 2.5 goals tip on the website, a free tip. Um, but apart from that, I don't know too much about the form. So let's have a look. We're suggesting a very narrow Northampton win. Um, so it looks like a tight game. And the suggested scorelines are 0-0, nil, 1-0 nil, or 2-0 to Northampton. Um, at the moment, it's actually 0-1 nil, nil to Barrow. So Barrow actually winning that one. So that one's not really going to form. Um, I mean, you could easily see Northampton getting back into it, obviously, as the home team. But, yeah, at the moment, that's going the opposite way, as we would suggest using this. So, Mans Paragat Mansfield. What we got here? So, a slim favourite for Harrogate, but still over-evens. Very tight game, this one, by the look of it. So, 1-0 to Harrogate, 1-1, or 2-1 to Harrogate. Um, and let's have a look at where we're going. At the moment, it's 0 0. So, you know, the 1 0 and the 1 1 are still in play. Um, 69 minutes. So, yeah, I'd be happy with that if I was dutching. Um, these are going well so far, aren't they? It's only the Harrogate game that doesn't look like we'd get a scoreline out of. Uh, famous last words. Let's have a look. Salford versus Carlisle. So, we're looking at a narrow Salford win. Well, I'll say narrow 1.7, 57%. But it's not it's not massive. So the suggested score lines nil uh, the most common would be one nil Salford and then pretty even between nil nil or two nil. So what have we got at the moment? Yeah, one nil Salford. <laughs> this is flying, isn't it? This is a great promotional video. One nil Salford. Um yeah, love that. So Bradford versus Leighton Orient. Uh, another oh, this is a really even game as well, isn't it? Predicted to be so 2.3 on the Bradford, 3.95 on the draw, 3.35 on Orient. So, yeah, real tight one. Um, we've got 1 1 being the most likely score line, then 1 0 to Bradford, and then 2 1 to Bradford. I often go with Bradford, are often uh, draw specialists, so I often they often come up in my draw predictions. At the moment, it's Bradford 0, Leighton Orient 1. So yeah, to be honest, pretty happy with that. Um, it says it's very close. We've got 1-1 one, one in play and then a potential 2-1 for the um, for the home team, if that were the case. The odds at the moment, um, the live odds are 4.75 for a draw, 
So, I mean, it's 75 minutes, you know, I think I think that's giving a fair reflection of what's going on, to be honest. So, Colchester, Rochdale. So, it's still only that one real outlier. Colchester, Rochdale. So, we're looking at an away win. I like it when it throws up away wins because it shows that it's not just a sort of pre-programmed kind of always make the home team favourite jibe. Um, so Colchester, Rochdale. So the most likely scoreline here we've got has been just about 1-1 one, one, and then 0-1. So 1-0 Rochdale or 1-0 Colchester. Um, a nice spread there for Dutchin. And we've got at the moment 1-0 Colchester. So we're in here and potentially 1-0 one, and 1-1 one, one with, what, 15 minutes to go. Um, Rochdale the stronger team arguably so 1-1 one, one could easily be in so that's another nice position to be in if you're Dutch and you'd be making a profit on that one this is brilliant isn't it um, forest green sorry for the sort of clunkiness of this it's I wanted to do it live and rather than a formulaic sort of pre-rehearsed video okay Port Royal are massive outsiders against forest green um, yeah, I mean, 2.28. So, but then if you look at the most likely score lines, we've got, I shouldn't say massive outside, we've got 0-0 being the most likely, uh, then 1-0 Forest Green, and then 1-0 Port Vale. So basically one goal in it, we're saying. And what is it at the moment? 1-0 Port Vale at the moment. So another one that's coming in. Um, so I think out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, what, 8? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight games. It was only Harrogate Mansfield that we're not really looking like getting anything out of because um, what did we have for Harrogate Mansfield again? It was that one, wasn't it? It's currently nil-nil with 15 minutes left. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's the only one... Is that the one we're on about? Anyway, it's, it's that could easily come in because we've got one nil. Um, yeah, so <laughs> sorry for the rambling. It's only a short video, but I just want to show you how easy it was to use. Firstly, um, if you put your fixtures in beforehand, literally copy and paste it. Bang, you've got you've got your outcomes. Um, I'm going to look into making drop downs for for the teams sort of preloaded the same way that I do in my draw selection. You know, just the the tabs so that you could click and choose from a list of a list of um, teams. You don't have to type anything in. Um, so that'll be coming soon. Um, but yeah, I hope you hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I say, a bit of a slapdash, non-rehearsed look at the the system. But I think it shows that um, yeah, I mean it's pretty decent, isn't it? Really, if you use that alongside your other betting tools, I think it, at the moment it's giving some pretty good um, good predictions. So anyway, I'll see you soon.